to the cockpit, fellow aviators. Wanted to share a little bit about how I lean the aircraft for Operation 100 Degrees Ridge of Peak. I've been in cruise flight 6,500 feet for about five minutes. I always like to let the temperature stabilize before you start changing the temperatures. You don't want to be there a cooling period or a heating period and then start changing things because that's going to give you an erroneous reading. Right now, I've got the mixture set at about 105 pounds per hour. Um, that's a little bit richer than where I believe we're going to wind up, uh, but that's just a course leaning to get it started. So what we do is we hit the uh, peak find button on the engine monitor, and that resets everything. And now I'm going to start slowly bringing the mixture out. And as I bring this mixture out, you're going to see our temperature start to rise. And what we're looking for is for our peak EGT, 90 pounds per hour. Slowly bringing it out. 80 pounds per hour. About 75 pounds per hour. There we go. We peaked. Now we're going to enrich in the mixture. We're looking for 100 degrees on that number three cylinder. I start getting close to that 100 pound mark, I start easing it in. Coming through 60 degrees, 70 degrees. Three miles straight west of your position. Slowing down a little bit, I'm going to give it a little more. 80 degrees. We're going to let that settle out. It's going to probably go over 100. Looking to keep our cylinder head temperatures below 400. 100 degrees rich peak. That should put my hottest cylinder somewhere in the 370s. At number 5, 374. Normally my hottest cylinder. And what I'll do from here is I'll just fine tune it. So I'm a little bit rich about 13 degrees rich right now and I'll probably let that stabilize for about five minutes and if I need to ease it back I'll just ease it back just a little bit to make small adjustments. I'm running about half cow flaps open at 186 degrees on the oil temperature just under 100 pounds per hour 28 inches of manifold pressure 2400 rpm. That's how we lean it for cruise flight you guys put a comment down below, tell me how you operate your engine, especially if you have a turbocharged engine or a turbo 210. I'd like to know if you do things different, uh, what your settings are and what your expectations are. I always look into, to find a more efficient and a better way to operate this airplane. I by no means claim to be an expert and I'm always willing to learn. So if you have something to add, let's, let's talk about it. I'd like to hear it.